what are some of the challenges of teaching techs within your company? Because that's where the majority of of teachers are. Like they they find the love for teaching by teaching others within the company in which they're working. That's where it starts at. I mean, let's be honest, you know, and and that's where it's needed the most as well. I mean, obviously we need to help the teachers out, especially new teachers that are coming into the classroom. But your classroom a lot of times is going to be in the van while you're driving to a call. Uh, reading through these texts, you can have them actually read through these segments while they're sitting there in the passenger seat, and then you can quiz them and go through these other things. While they're on that job looking something up, you can have them find that information. Then you're having them read it, then have them tell it to you, and then they're looking at pictures of how that works, and then having them actually do it. So all those things apply for the technicians in the field. When I was first in the field and I had my first person assigned to me to train, I feel so bad because I did a horrible job because I just did it how I was taught to do it. And when I was taught to do it, it was somebody yelled at you, they threw tools at you, they belittled you, and if you didn't get it right, they yelled at you more, and then they, they talked bad about you to the boss. And I did those things, and I feel horrible about that. But then I, I've learned that that didn't work. I didn't like it. Why am I repeating this process? And so I then started having to learn how to teach. And I'm, I'm still learning how to teach. You, you never master that. You just you constantly adapt and evolve to that, especially with different generations, people learning differently, how people have grown up are different than how we grew up. And uh, we hear these these sayings that are so easy. Well, nobody wants to work anymore. And we have to put those away because those sayings go all the way back to the late 1800s. People have been saying that. This generation doesn't want to work anymore. It's just an easy out. And we have to think, no, the generation's different than us. And there's always going to be people that are that are hardworking, that are lazy, that are curious, and some that are just misidentified. Some, I, some people can be considered lazy, and they're just having a hard time learning the way that you're throwing information at them. And so they just kind of lock up. And so if you think of, how can I build this person's curiosity? How can I get it to where they're remembering this stuff? Because if we're telling them something and they're not remembering it or learning it or or to be able to do it, are we really teaching it? And so if we think about passing information, hey, here's a book. There you go. All the information and instantly passed. Nobody's learning from it. So how can we take that information and then make it to where they're, they're putting that in and receiving it and being more curious about answering those? And that's where the field comes in. I mean, it's like the most powerful tool at all because you have one person right there in front of you and they're listening to everything that you say. There's no, um, you know, hard day at work and they're dozing off. Like they're actively getting paid. They're listening to everything you have to say and they're looking up to you. This is the, the person that's training me. Even if so, if you treat them bad, you treat them good, it makes a huge impact on them.